welcome back this is the next topic in the series of the topic we are discussing about rational numbers today we will solve some problem statements on addition operation on rational numbers so let's take an example a man is traveling from a point p 2 by 3 kilometers in east direction and then he traveled 1 by 7 kilometer in west direction so after traveling this at last how much far it is the man is from the point p or the starting point so to solve these kind of problems what we have to do is we have to assume one of the direction as positive and another as negative to start with let's take the east direction as the positive direction and the west as the negative one and try to solve this problem so this gives me 2 by 3 minus 1 5 by 7 which is equivalent is 2 by 3 Minus seven five plus five twelve by seven. This reduce again to the same form. Denominators are different. I have to find the LCM for the same. So the LCM here is twenty one. So three sevens are twenty one, and two sevens are fourteen, and seven threes are twenty one. So minus twelve. This gives me minus twelve into three. That is thirty six, which gives me back twenty. Two by twenty-one, or I can say this is minus one one by twenty-one kilometer. Now, as this is minus, I will have to say this is one by twenty-one kilometer in west from P. Why? Because my negative direction is the west direction. The question arises here. Will I arrive at the same answer if I take this east as a negative direction and the west as a positive direction? Let's check that. Now the question remains same. It is two by three kilometer. The person travels in the east from a particular point P, and again travels back one by seven, five seven kilometers from that place. in the west so finally where is that person from p in the previous example when we solved this we took east as a positive and the west as a negative direction here we take west as a positive direction and the east as a negative direction and see if we arrive at the same answer so have to ha i will have minus 2 by 3 plus 1 Pi by seven, which gives me minus two by three, plus seven one to seven plus pi twelve by seven. This again reduced to the same seven plus three, seven into three, get an LCM of twenty one. So three sevens are twenty one. This becomes minus fourteen. This becomes plus thirty six, and I'm here at twenty two by twenty one kilometer. Which is equal to one one by twenty one kilometer. Now this is a positive number, which is by positive direction the west. So the person is kilometer in west from P. So we arrive at the same answer, and it does not depend upon which direction east. or the best we take as a positive or negative the resultant rule remains same that if we have two opposite situation either one of them you can take as a positive and the second one as a negative and finally you will arrive at the same answer if you had taken in a reverse manner so this explains how to solve a different problems in the uh, addition section from the rational numbers now the rule is simple the first thing is 
assume a positive and a negative situation it can be above sea level and below sea level east and west direction north and the south direction so it can be any two reverse situation or an opposite situation where you have to assume one as positive second as negative or it may be that there are there are uh, multiples of positive or no negative and multiples of negative no positive situation so that is the first thing then it's boiled down to the same thing you have to add them finally taking the lcm add by taking the lcm and the common mistakes what most of the students even when i was a student used to make is once i get this answer i leave this answer as it is no we have to derive back to what we originally were asked that what it is it is a west or east or what direction it will be so in a haste or in a hurry i used to say 1 1 by 21 km or minus 1 1 by 21 km and used to stop there but this step is equal important that you have to again say back that no it's in east direction from p or west direction from p above sea level below sea level north or south to complete your whole problem statement i hope you have enjoyed this lecture and gain something out of it thank you very much we'll meet in the next where we'll discuss about the multiplication on rational numbers